In this video, I'm going to prove to you conclusively from the words and from the mouth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ himself, that the book of Enoch is scripture. Now hold on to your hats. I know you're going to... You're gripping your seats and you're screaming and you're, wow, this guy's really out of his mind. He's lost his mind. Oh, have I? Well, let's listen and let's prove all things through scripture. Now, I'm going to make this video quick and simple. Now, grab onto your seats, put on your seat belts because it's going to be a bumpy ride. In Matthew 22, verses 23 through 29 in the discussion about the resurrection it says that same day Jesus was approached by some Sadducees religious leaders who say there is no resurrection from the dead they posed this question teacher Moses said if a man dies without children and his brother should marry the widow and have a child who will carry on the brother's name well suppose there were seven brothers and the oldest one married and then died without children. So his brother married the widow, but the second brother also died and the third brother married her. This continued with all seven of them. Last of all, the woman also died. So tell us, whose wife will she be in the resurrection? For all seven were married to her. And Jesus replied, listen. That's, that's me saying listen. Now Jesus replied, listen to this carefully. Your mistake is that you don't know the scriptures and you don't know the power of God. For when the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. In this respect, they will be like the angels in heaven. Now, 99.999% of you just gloss right over that and say, yeah, yeah, that's true. Jesus said it. Well, what scripture is he talking about? He's saying your mistake is you don't know the scriptures. Well, what scripture in the Old Testament, because he couldn't be talking about a New Testament because there wasn't one, what scripture in the Old Testament does it say angels are not given in marriage? Where does it say that? Oh, guess what? I'll give you a few minutes to go find it if you want, but you ain't going to find it. You know why? Because it's not in the Old Testament. So what scripture could he possibly be talking about? Well, my friends, he's talking about the book of Enoch, and it's the only book, only one, where you're going to find this. Not in the canon. It's not in the Pseudographica. It's in the Apocrypha, but it's in the book of Enoch. Book of Enoch chapter 15 verses 4 through 7 speaking to the angels he says and you were spiritual holy living in eternal life but you became unclean upon the women and begot children through the blood of flesh and lusted after the blood of men and produced flesh and blood as they do who die and are destroyed and for this reason I give men wives, so that they may sow seed in them, and so that the children might be born by them, so that deeds might be done on the earth. But you formerly were spiritual, living in eternal, immortal life for all the generations of the world. For this reason, I did not arrange wives for you, because the dwelling of the spiritual ones is in heaven." All right, so what did Jesus say? He said, When the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. In this respect, they will be like the angels in heaven. And in the book of Enoch, it says, For this reason I did not arrange wives for you, O angels, because the dwelling of the spiritual ones is in heaven. Now, where did Jesus quote that from? Hmm. Well, the book of Jude, as we know, does quote Enoch, and it also quotes the ascension of Moses, which is the battle of, you know, where he says that the Michael didn't write a railing word. That's another apocryphal book that we don't, that no longer exists. But he does quote uh, 
the book of Enoch. And so I'm going to just, I'm just going to say this right out front. And in that same book where he quotes the book of Enoch, he says in chap in verse 17 in Jude, he says, but dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you in the last times, there will be scoffers. Ha, you read the book of Enoch. That's horrible. It's just, it's not biblical. It's, it's not canonical. It cannot be read. It must not be read. There will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. These are the people who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. Those are strong words. They're not my words. So don't say me, oh, John's attacking people. No, nope. these are not my words. I would pray to the Lord my God, the Lord our God, that he would open your eyes and grant you repentance. Because anybody who's saying these nasty things and making all these accusations, he just said in that book of Jude that people who dare make accusations against principalities, not against other people, you know, you're saying, oh, Enoch is this, Enoch, the book of Enoch is that, it's a lie, you should ignore it, it must be removed, you must not read it, it must be taken away from you. When Jesus Christ himself and Jude quoted from it and there are many other spots in the in the new testament about 75 that i found that also quote from it so take this as you will understand it as you will get mad if you will doesn't matter to me i'm presenting this to those who will listen and those who have ears who hear and those who will not let their pride get in the way of true salvation amen be well God bless you all.